Hi, welcome to the at home learning page brought to you by Holly Ridge Center's education department. I am going to read a story for you today called Animals of the Salish Sea, Coast Salish First Nations and Native Art. I am going to begin by introducing the book. At Holly Ridge Center, we honor the land of indigenous people and value their knowledge and education of the area we now live in. The Coast Salish people have been the guardians of the Salish Sea for thousands of years. The Salish Sea provides us food for living, ceremonies, and journeys of life. We use the Salish Sea as a highway to travel and visit all of our relatives. Our cedar plank longhouses line the shores, inviting all of our visitors to our land. That is from Doug La Fortune of the Coastal Salish. I'm going to start by reading the story and follow along with me. So the first animal that we have is the eagle. Eagles fly highest in the sky and are closest to the creator. They are prayer messengers. They represent balance, strength, vision, honor, and spirituality. Our next one is the thunderbird. Thunderbirds are powerful, supernatural beings that bring strong winds, thunder, and lightning. They are the protectors of the people. These illustrations are so beautiful. Now we have a raven. Ravens are bringers of light. They symbolize humor, cleverness, and intelligence. And we have the hawk. Hawks have great vision and concentration. They are spirit helpers that bring guidance and focus to life. Now we have the goose. The goose. Geese are silly and fun. They love family and always work as a team. They symbolize determination, faithfulness, and loyalty. Owls. Owls are messenger of change and guides to the spirit world. They are keepers of sacred knowledge. <gasps> Seagulls and starfish. Seagulls teach us not to be wasteful. They are very chatty and like to be in community. Starfish teach us healing and renewal. Now we have the heron. Herons are resourceful, determined, and graceful. They nest in community. They are significant, patient, and tranquil. Hummingbirds. Hummingbirds are messengers of hope. They are travelers of great distance. They symbolize devotion, joy, and agility. Butterflies. Butterflies change the stages of lives, of their lives. They symbolize beauty, gentleness, and harmony. Dragonfly. Dragonflies live in their water, on land, and in the air. They treat us to adjust to change. Their colors reflect the magic of creation. Spiders. Spiders teach us the art of weeding, weaving. Frog. Frogs are messengers to the Salish people. The croaking choruses of frogs signal the end of winter and the arrival of spring. They are symbols of renewal and abundance. I like that. Turtles. Turtles teach us to live life with perseverance at a steady pace. They take time to enjoy life. So many great lessons in this book. Deer. Deer teach us to be gentle and kind with one another. They are sensitive and always alert. Sasquatch. Sasquatch are supernatural beings and protectors of the forest. They are best at playing hide and seek. Bear and bee. Bears teach us to find food and fish. 
They represent protection, strength, and bravery. Bees love community and hard work. They are very social and like to dance. Bees make honey, which is used for food and healing creams. Wolf. Wolves are communicators. They are intelligent, playful, and powerful. They symbolize loyalty and strength. Crab. Crabs walk sideways, teaching us that we need to find our own direction. With their hard shells, crab remind us of the need to protect ourselves and others. Rockfish. Rockfish are prehistoric looking fish bringing us ancient wisdom. Sturgeon. The white sturgeon is found in the stolo known as Fraser, Fraser River. They are mainstays of their traditional diet. Sturgeons have survived through generations and represent longevity and resilience. Sturgeons are the guardians, guardians of the river. Octopus. Octopus are magical. They are intelligent, mystical, and flexible. They can change their shape and master of disguise. Salmon. Salmon are vital to our Coast Salish life and traditions. They represent life in subsidence. A first salmon ceremony is celebrated to honor the returning salmon every year. Seals. Seals are curious creatures. They are shapeshifters as they swim through the water. They are a sign of abundance. Last creatures, dogfish shark. The dogfish sharks were so abundant they could be grabbed by a hand from the canoes. The rough skins were dried and used as leather and sandpaper to smooth canoes. The shark represent grace, power, and instinct. And whales, my favorite. Whales are guardians and navigators of the sea. They are nurturing and stay with their families called pods. All of this beautiful artwork done in this amazing um, Coast Salish First Nations book is brought to you um, by all of contributing Coast Salish artists. And that is a way that they are sharing their culture and art and insight on their special relationships with nature and the supernatural world. Thank you for joining me today. If you want to refer to the at-home learning page for further activities that can go along with this book, we appreciate you and thanks for joining.